We're counting down the days and hours till the battle to bring the MLS Cup back to Seattle for a second straight year. Please, please, the Sounders punched their ticket to the finals after beating the Houston Dynamo at CenturyLink Field last week. And it feels like deja vu. Um, what, who was it who said it feels like deja Yogi vu Berra. all over again? Yogi, Yogi Berra, Berra, yeah. As they're facing the Toronto FC, the team they defeated last year to win it all. Here with a preview, please welcome co-hosts of the Sounders FC pre- and post-game shows on Cairo Radio, Jason Rance, and Seattle University soccer coach Peter Pewing. It's good to have you both here. Yeah. Thank you. This is for both of you. The season up till the state last year, we were like, Ooh, you know, didn't mm -hmm. look so good. And then boom, this miracle finish. What what has this year been like? Well, it was, it, last year definitely was sort of the Cinderella story. This year, not so much, but that's also a good thing because they're going into the MLS Cup finals, a much stronger team than they did uh, certainly earlier in the season last year. Coach, they've what been, do you think? Uh, yeah, they've been doing great this year. Uh, they had an 18 game uh, streak, 12 game streak where they were uh, winning everything or tying and, and uh, the team's done great. The momentum they have right now is fantastic and that in the MLS it's a 34 game season so you have to have momentum coming right. into the playoffs. In their last six games they have six shutouts, they've scored 14 goals so they're and they're healthy for the really for almost the first time. Which is amazing. Yeah, yeah. So it's not really a surprise they're in the finals. We kind of would expect that would be what would happen. It's hard to repeat anywhere. It's really mm -hmm. hard to repeat but I, I'll tell you what Brian Schmetzer the head coach he's, he's an so Nathan. wonderful. He, Yes, nicest he man. Yes, yeah, he is. He is so nice. He is. He and is yet he's really good man. at what he does. Because yeah. when you get the yeah. nice people, sometimes you think that they might not be as tough out there. Yes. He's incredibly tough, and he's one of the nicest people I think of. He he's the other nice one. Very nice. Thank See, you. that's <laughs> nice. too yeah. many people in sports think that means that people are right. soft. It's it wrong. is not true. Correct. Give me five. That's good. We're for nice and tough. Yeah. So tell me a bit about the the Dynamo game. Uh, the Dynamo game, the Sounders completely dominated both legs. I mean, especially when you're going out on the road in playoffs, the tendency in the first leg is kind of to, to hold back, just play defensively. They end up winning 2-0 this past weekend with, uh, or this past week with leg number two. It was a 3-0 win. Clint Dempsey scores another goal. Victor Rodriguez, Clint. Will Bruin, who I think loves to play sort of the, the team, villain sure. to the Dynamo. Right. He's, they're just on fire right now. Right. Clint Dempsey, I think if I had to take one person to go to war with, Clint would be my guy. <laughs> he would be my guy. So who are the players to watch in Toronto? Uh, Giovinco's 16 goals. Uh, Josie Altador's got yeah. 15 goals. Uh, Michael Bradley is kind of their Ozzy Alonso at the back. So uh, Vasquez is another guy who's mm -hmm. got 16 assists. I think he's got five goals. So they're a very talented team, and they're playing at home. It is, as you said, it's a repeat of last year. Uh, it'll be. I don't think this will be a scoreless game. Clint Dempsey's got uh, 12 goals and Will Bruin has 11. Uh, so it, it's going to be a much more uh, back and forth game, I think. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting because uh, I just think they're going to play a lot more loose than they did. They, they had to play very tight in the game last year. The Sounders did. Because they had there was to defend. No margin for yeah, and they just didn't have the health. Dempsey wasn't there. Will Bruin wasn't there. Right. So. It's a different team much for different the teams yeah. this time and specifically with uh, Josie Altidore mm -hmm. he got injured his ankle is bothering him he's yeah. going to play on Saturday but I don't know if he's going to be 100% he wasn't training fully this week he will play he just it depends on the capacity but so the team has depth for sure. Toronto has depth I would yeah. argue the Sounders have significantly more depth this yeah. season than they did in the past yeah, Jordan Morris will come off the bench, most mm -hmm. likely. Rodriguez will come off the bench, possibly. And he had a great series with Houston. Yeah. So uh, I like Seattle's chances a lot. And going back to Brian Schmetzer, he will not let them come out and do anything but outwork Toronto. Uh, they will be very focused in this one. And for Clint Dempsey, he didn't play in the final last year. Uh, you get the ring, but he wants to be in the final. And you're he right, Margaret, up. he loves to show up for these big games. Yeah. yeah. So fun. as a coach, when you watch uh, Coach Metzer, what's what's your thought about what you've learned from him or yeah. what, what you can tell us about his style and why it's so successful? Well, we've known each other for a long time, 30 plus years. We were teammates with Seattle together. He is, so at the last press conference on at practice I'm standing right next to him and listening and he finished and and as we walked out together and I just said you are such a he's such a great leader mm -hmm. his players want to play for him I think that's one of the biggest things in the pro game that's not always the case but they mm -hmm. all want to play for Brian Schmetzer he's very demanding of them he's the boss he carries himself you see him on the sideline he's very commanding uh, his language is excellent when he speaks about uh, the games and when he speaks about his players mm -hmm. he takes care of his players mm -hmm. so I'm really proud of him everybody you know our soccer community is very tight uh, we all 
know each other, and, and I, I have not come across anybody who is more thrilled uh, for Brian Schmetzer's yeah. success. Everybody's really happy. Well, there's really him. something to be learned there, right? It reminds yeah. me of some parts of Pete Carroll and also yeah. Coach Pete at, at the UW where you have uh, a lot of support for your players. You have their yeah. backs, but you also have high expectations, mm -hmm. and there's something to be learned about leading groups of people from that. I feel like he's created an environment, and this is from like the broadcasting side. Yeah. Like, I don't even want to disappoint yeah. him, and so the players <laughs> don't want to disappoint yeah. him because yeah. you do kind of look up to him and realize what he's created in this culture. So right. he's an amazing coach, and uh, I think that's why the team, in part, is playing yeah. so well. And he wins. He's been a winner right. for all his playing career as a youth. Uh, his Lake City Hawks team was fantastic. They won seven state championships. He went into the pros right out of high school, uh, won championships with the San Diego Soccers, with the USL Sounders team, the Seattle Sea Dogs. Everywhere he's gone, he's, he's been won. a winner. Yeah. You know, I have this list of people I'd like to have cloned, and he's on that list. <laughs> so game predictions, Toronto's been talking a little trash. They have been talking a little trash. Here's the deal. The Sounders are going in with momentum, and the truth is Toronto, while they are a good team, I wouldn't say they limped into the MLS Cup final, but they've been winning by the skin of their teeth. So it's not like they've been all that dominant in the postseason, whereas the Sounders have. Yeah, I think it's 2-0 Seattle, honestly. I, and I, I'm not saying that as a homer. I just think that they're going to get their seventh shutout in a row. There's more yeah. pressure on Toronto, and Seattle's loose, and Jason's right. They've mm -hmm. limped in, and Seattle's rolling right now. That so, is so cool. Yeah. Do you have a similar prediction? 2-0. Yeah. yeah? We're yeah. going with that? Of course. Sure. Okay, fine. <laughs> It's almost not worth watching the game then. The, no, we're going to be watching for sure. The MLS Cup final starts at 1 p.m. our time Saturday, December 9th at BMO Field in Toronto. You can find details on our website along with how to keep up with the Sounders FC and with these two gentlemen as well. All right, up next, easy tricks to save money on holiday shopping in case you're getting like some gear or something. <laughs> Experience.